In this February 2023 Zoic and Affiliate Earnings Report, I'll show you how I'm finally gaining traffic again using AI and entities. Let's dig in. So right now revenue is back down again since last month from $6,470 in January to $5,749 right now. And affiliate revenue had increased because of the holidays, but that's done now. So that's why it's a little bit lower right now. And the ad revenue from Zoic is still slightly lower. Now here's my Zoic income. I'm showing you exactly what I earned and I'll share my costs as well in a minute for a full P&L. Now Bite My Bun is still the largest site I have with $830 and I've been creating a few AI articles for my Dutch site about cats which gets most of its traffic from Facebook so that's pretty direct so that's also $283 so that's quite nice and then a few smaller sites after that. Now this is my Zoic dashboard I recommend Zoic for your display ads because they pay out a lot more than AdSense does and they have a few essential tools to help your site grow like Leap Speed Optimizer and Niche IQ. And I really like the big data analytics that they have here. Now my niche site PNL, I've gotten $2,124 from Amazon US, $747 from Bol, that's a large Dutch retailer. <laughs> I earned $20 from my book on Kindle, so that's my own products. Then $1,700 from Isoic. Uh, this month I didn't get any revenue from other affiliate programs, but I did get a lot from other Amazon storefronts, which was $1144. So that brings my total income to $5749 and the costs this month were $3050, which brings my profit to $2699. Now costs are a bit lower now at $3,000. I kept them steady by completely removing, uh, upgrading old content for now and getting rid of some tools I wasn't using anymore in our processes. Now one of the tools I did scrap was jasper.ai. Um, I've integrated my workflow directly with uh, OpenAI's API instead of using a tool. So that saves a lot on AI content as well. I've been investing heavily into AI content for entities um, and tying all of the articles on the sites together. I'll get a little little bit more into that uh, a little later. Now last month's costs were accounting content is a little bit lower uh, than it was the month before. Uh, hosting of course, some office related like my phone bill, um, no one-time purchases and $370 for tools. The tools I use are Aweber $44, Data Feeder $35 which allows me to get uh, international data feeds for uh, products that I recommend. Uh, Genius Link, which is $61, and that's why I get $1,100 from other Amazon storefronts because of Genius Link, and then Wordlift, $231. You can see the amount of money I invest in content is declining. That's because I have to earn money, and uh, I'm investing more in AI content uh, and a little bit less in writers at the moment. So we write about the same amount of articles at a third of the cost. So that's pretty nice. Now the revenue diversification, I wanted to earn as much from ads as I did from affiliate, but because of the lower ad rates, the ad income just keeps declining, although it's a bit leveling off right now at 29% and 69% uh, from affiliate. Amazon US has also surpassed our bulb.com income and that's because I've been investing more in the um, English language sites. So that's now showing in the income as well. Now we've published 88 new articles last month, a little bit more than the 76 we published last month. And that's also because I've stopped writing articles myself uh, for a while now that I've started my own SaaS company, uh, which is a Dutch language one-click AI article writer. And I've tested the software on creating a lot of new articles. So that's going great. We've been able to publish a lot of content at a fraction of the cost that it would usually cost. So let's get into the traffic boost that that gives us. So the traffic is finally going up again for the first time in over a year um, since like uh, halfway through January and it's still going up, especially for the size where I've implemented this AI strategy first, you can really start seeing the results for those investments in content I made earlier this year. So Stop Motion Hero, I started implementing an AI entity strategy at the beginning of January and you can see their site is really taking off. 
It's still one of our smaller sites, but it's growing exponentially. So what I'm doing here is I'm creating entities for all of the articles that we write. So let's say we talk about how to cook a sea bass. In that case, I would write the article how to cook a sea bass, but I would also create the article about sea basses and how to use them in cooking. So we have all of this extra information on our site to show that we really know our stuff about sea basses. And when you start doing this for all of the articles on your site and tying all of those articles together, you can really show to Google that you have a lot of topical coverage. So if you're doing an affiliate strategy, instead of linking every article to your like your pillar review article, you could also consider creating the entity as well and then linking all of your articles to that entity and still link some or most of them to your main affiliate link article. But that way you can show Google that you have this topical coverage and you know what you're talking about more than just reviewing some products. You can see the same for Neaira, that's my guitar site, and you can see the same sharp increase in traffic after implementing the strategy. So it really looks promising. I'm going to roll this out further across all of my sites. Now I only have this AI writer software where you can write large articles with just the click of a button. Uh, available in Dutch at the moment, but it looks very promising. So I'll leave a link here in the description. And if you'd like me to make it available in English as well, just hit me up on my email address below and I'll see what I can do. I hope these earnings reports are helping you in your journey as well. And thanks so much for watching.